Demons come in all sizes, shapes, and genders. And when we take the level of attacking those who've been attacked, then there's no other word for that person than a demon. When we take a family, in fact, we take two families that have a combined occupancy of eight people that are homeless because of the actions of the Hallelujah Scriptures. And then we are so demon infested that we want to defend those who are attacking the people who are homeless. That makes you a demon. Now, let's take a quick look at what exactly we're getting into right here. And one of the things I would like everybody to understand is that we are dealing with criminals that have stolen a tremendous amount of money on the backs of people. A lot of people are in shock that this holier-than-thou saint company that says they give to the orphans, widows, or lepers really have no orphans, widows, or lepers and have been not giving away free Bibles like they say. Now, this amount was in their account as they started this grift right here. Right? Actually, it's right here. Right here. September 14th. They had $400,000 before they started begging for help. Now, we have two families that are now homeless. Two beautiful, precious families that are now homeless. And we have this old demon lady named Demon Time T, is what I've nicknamed her. Demon Time T has gone and made videos attacking Aaron and Trisha, the two families. In fact, the Demon Time T lady... She says she sees smoke in the background of the video where they, it was a two and a half hour video. She says there's smoke. They must be smoking. These people are evil, right? And then, and you know, if you, I'm not even going to ask the people, were you smoking? Because there's zero Torah commands ever that says thou shalt not smoke. If you're looking for a way to convict people, this isn't it. This old demon time tea lady seems to be sitting in her own house making a video against those who do not have a house. Now, she came and decided she was going to try to attack me, and I don't care. None of that matters. <laughs> I'm indestructible. She's not going to be able to touch me. In fact, the lies that she is using to attack me are the same lies that the people in the event of Connecticut the Sandy Hooker people, they're the same people. So she found a site that they had years ago trying to uh, <laughs> expose me, right? So Demon Time T is hanging out with crisis actors. That's what she's doing. She's hanging out and doing the same do. But Demon Time T is doing something a little worse. Because what Demon Time T is doing is something that is actually a psychological issue. This is called, what she's doing is called a DARVO. And it's an acronym for Deny, Attack, Reverse, Victim, Offender. It's a reaction that perpetrators of wrongdoing, particularly sexual offenders, may display in response to being held accountable for their behavior. Some researchers indicated that it is common manipulation strategy of psychological accusers, abusers. An abuser denies the abuse ever took place, attacks the person that was abused, often the victim, for attempting to hold the accuser accountable for their actions, and claims that they are actually the victim in the situation, thus reversing what may be reality of victim and offender. It often involves not just playing the victim, but also victim blaming. Now, this is what blows me away. And the origins of this actually came from psych psychological psychologist Jennifer Freud, right? We've all heard of these people. And this is what she says. I have observed that actual abusers threaten, bully, and make a nightmare for anyone who holds them accountable or asks them to change their abusive behavior. 
This attack intended to chill and terrify typically includes threats of lawsuits, overt and covert attacks on the whistleblower's credibility, and so on. The attack will often take the form of focusing on ridiculing the person who attempts to hold the offender accountable. The offender rapidly creates the impression that the abuser is the wrong one, while the victim or concerned observer is the offender. Figure and ground are completely reversed. The offender is on the offense, and the person attempting to hold the offender accountable is put on the defense. So we have this old crone named Demon Time T that is accusing the homeless people that there was smoke going through the air, while at the same time, a diffuser does that exact same thing. Scentsy candles do that exact same kind of thing. Um, incense does that exact same kind of thing. So if Demon Time T is sitting here trying to expose the people that are now homeless when she is sitting in a home, this makes her a demon. What makes her even more of a demon is that she is a filthy liar because she went to my site and went and said, oh, look, Jason has this donate button right here. He's giving away all of the scriptures for free and has a donate button. Look, he's just as evil as anything. But yet she wasn't smart enough to actually click the button that says donate here. But here's the thing. I went and told her in a comment on my video and I explained to her, you need to click donate here. Because when you click donate here, there's no money that ever goes to Boss Clan or ever goes to Yahoo and the Torah or anything. If you want to donate to Boss Clan, Go find the nearest person who needs a hug or some assistance and sit down. Spend some time with them. Tell them about the commandments of Yahoo and embrace them as a friend. That's how you donate to Boss Clan. But I told her this in a message. She still did a video and is trying to expose me. Look, it doesn't matter about me. It matters about these two families that just got abandoned. One family is still on site. They have until the 16th of this month to be out and they will be homeless. There's five individuals there. We're trying to find a house for them. Guys, the other family that you guys saw, Aaron Parks, he's eating and drinking because of the generosity that you guys have done and you guys have helped this family. And it is by taking a stand that we show that evil is not acceptable. When we have Demon Time T, who is probably on the payroll of United and Yaw. The only time I've ever seen Di Demon Time T is when she was on playing a harp on the United and Yaw. So she's completely invested in that. And I still believe that some of the musicians and people on the United and Yaw are paid off. We still have a $2,500 check that went right out after the Battle Cry event to another musician that we're still trying to figure out why they were paid off. Now, when you go down the road of attacking those who are trying to stop this, then you are a demon. Your actions are completely demonic. And whether or not you see it or not, Demon Time T, what you're doing is evil. Now, what's funny is others that I saw on Demon Time T's video went over and commented. She's deleting every single comment trying to create the narrative and trying to spin her narrative that the Hallelujah Scriptures is somehow a righteous company. These people are not righteous. These people all involved are demons. You're looking at Robert Lou Griffith. He's a demon. Gregory Murray. He's a demon. He's been stealing money. I have records of him paying off his personal credit cards with donated money. They're all stealing money on the backs of Yah's people. Now, you can say, well, Jason, you you uh, you are on this site called hoaxer.info or something. Yeah, because I battle demons all the time. I've been battling them since 2017 at my, my site, 153news.net. We've been banned across the world many times because we believe in the truth. We expose state-sponsored terrorism and we show the truth to the world and the world hates it. The entire world that was censored since early in the days, 2017, 2018, 2019, these are the people at 153news.net. 
You don't see the videos like you see at 153 News anywhere because we are the last place alive that has them. So when she's jumping in and going, oh, look at the hoaxer info, there's nothing on that site, guys. You can't expose me. I am unexposable. <laughs> I've told everybody my past. I've told everybody what I'm doing. But now we need to focus on these people. These people right here. Deborah Weiss, a.k.a. Shalom. Max or Ken Weiss, whatever his name is. Gregory Murray is in the U.S. and controlling these funds. He needs to be arrested. There needs to be a federal investigation. And we've already gone to the um, New Zealand SFO. We uh, sent in the IRS last week. I also sent in the New Jersey um, Attorney General yes, last week as well. And so I will continue filing these until the people pick them up and they deal with them. Because it, you guys can sit here and cry the blues and go, oh, Jason's such a bad guy. But yet, I'm not the one out here begging. And I didn't have $400,000 in my account free and clear. And I didn't run a scam. Right? People of our creator don't do these kind of things. So when you want to get into the boat of Demon Time T, and you want to, for whatever reason, have these unclean spirits talk for you, this old woman is playing with demons and she is attacking. This woman is attacking people of our creator. And guys, I will be getting an interview with Trisha Elliott very, very soon. That is family number two who was busted into the bathroom with a crowbar by his, friends of his. Two of his friends as crazy Greg Murray. And let me tell you something else, what Demon Time T and her friends are saying. They're saying that Gregory Murray was protecting the Bibles and there was a mob of people after the Bibles. And so he started screaming about CPS and adultery and uh, FBI, all of that stuff because he was defending the Bibles. Guys, do you realize how insane that is? We have, I have eight, seven witnesses that will tell you that is completely a lie. And there's also video footage, which I will be presenting very soon that has Gregory Murray's friends using a crowbar, screaming very bad things at that woman. While he was screaming at, at Aaron Parks in that video, his buddies were trying to break into a woman's window with a crowbar, trying to get her out of a warehouse bathroom. This is crazy what these demons did. So guys, you do not want to be part of this. Do not be part of people that are involved in Darvo. Right? If you are a victim of anything, the last thing that people should be doing is attacking the victim. How many times in this life, how many people do we know, how many people have never reported a crime because they are so scared about what others will do? The demons always come out and they always do their thing. And this time, it's a little old crone named Demon Time T. And she may have been a yaw person. She may have been somebody that <laughs> thinks that she knows yaw, but she has a home and she's attacking eight people that are homeless. Guys, I'm asking you guys, please, to help this little family out. We're trying desperately to get them a little school bus for one of the families. I'm desperately trying to find a house for this other family before the 16th of February where everybody will be homeless. Guys, this is a critical situation. And the people of Yah, when you go out and you attack victims, that's very evil. You guys all need to check yourselves. You guys all need to understand that the people that are involved in this and people that are supporting them are demons. Guys, we have bank records. I have everything that you would ever want to see at the messianichallofshame.org. This stuff is not made up. You can go and you can call the bank and you can call, hit their account number in the bank and you can verify money in this account, the TD Bank. Anybody can do it. This is their bank account. Now, instead of the How You Scriptures coming out and saying, you know what, Jason Boss is a liar. We are going to do a forensic accounting analysis and we're going to provide it to everybody. What do they do? They send Demon Time T after the, the people 
and attack the homeless people. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane what these people will do. Guys, please help this couple out if you can. If you can, please stand with these people and don't allow evil to reign like this. The evil is just so, so wicked and they are doing such wickedness to these people. We must take a stand as a people of our, of our creator. If not, then we are complicit with it. If we say nothing, then we're being complicit with it. If you put your head in the sand and you let these people continue to be abused, which I never will, then you're complicit with it, right? We cannot attack the victims. Do you realize how evil that is when we attack the people that have already been through hell? It's evil. Guys, shun these people. Shun the hell of your scriptures. Guys, do not buy their wares. Let everybody know what kind of company this is that will attack the victims of <laughs> the how you scriptures all the evidence is right here every bit of it go look at it go open it up yourselves doesn't scripture tell us we need to research things when do we when are we supposed to look evil in the eyes and turn our head and put our our head in the sand guys don't be scared of these people one of our torah commands is don't be scared of our enemies hallelujah scriptures unfortunately because of their fruits is an enemy to the kingdom they have prevented scriptures from going out freely the scriptures that go out are paid for. Yes, you can take your money and you can buy a scriptures. They are a book selling company. It's exactly what crazy Greg Lebo Murray said. They are a business. They are not a ministry. Gregory Murray, the treasurer of Hallelujah Scripture, said it three times. And that video is in evidence. You can see it on every YouTube channel. You can see it on Odyssey, BitChute, 153news.net. It's everywhere. They are a business, not a ministry. We have to figure that out and we got to stop attacking the victims. That is just a very unrighteous thing to do. Demon time tea, you better be very, very careful. I'm out.